Hello, I'm Dan Rutz. I may be meeting you for the first time, or maybe not. Whoever you are, as you look at this, I hope will become a friend. I'd like to share with you over the coming weeks, months, who knows how long this might go, an opportunity for us to look at our lives from an improved perspective, uh, starting with mine, because that's what I have to work with. Well, what's wrong with this guy's eye? That's part of uh, my interest in this because the changes that I've experienced over the last couple of months have really reopened my mind into a lot of things, including what, do I, what am I here for? What's important to me? What have I perhaps neglected to do that I, would at this point, like to remedy? So those, those are some of the areas, I, yeah, I admit they're pretty heavy that we're going to be getting into over time. I'm going to keep it short. We'll do it in bits, and hopefully, again, we'll get to know each other better. All right, so what is wrong with this guy's eye? A couple of months ago, I experienced numbness over the side of my face, and that led to a lot of tests. I was totally healthy before this, had probably never spent a night in the hospital, actually, as a patient. Uh, but spent a lot of time in them because I was a CNN medical correspondent for 18 years in the 80s and 90s. And then after that, a second career with the Centers of Disease Control, CDC, always involving communication and health in some capacity. So you can see on this side, I have a scar. Well, it's a, still a wound healing from what amounted to six or seven hours of brain surgery to try to find out what was wrong inside my head. That's really what caused the swelling and for this eye uh, to close. And I think eventually it'll reopen again as that surgery heals. Well, they found something kind of scary that could potentially shorten my life by a great deal. Don't know if that's going to happen, but if it does, I have to be ready for that. And, the, and just the thought of that, the thought of getting brain surgery when you've never had any at all, forced me to look at my life differently than I had been. Suddenly, all the things I was taking for granted, including my wife, uh, became so incalcul incalculably valuable to me that I reevaluated all of my priorities. Not only had I taken her for granted, and she's had her own share of health issues, some of them also life-threatening, but also what about all of the other people in my life, my children, uh, my many uh, contacts and friends, not only in the U.S., but around the world, because my career has allowed me to do that? What makes them so valuable to me? And they certainly have shown themselves to be that way uh, during the challenge of my present uh, health situation. Well, that's what I mean about getting personal with you. I want us to explore, perhaps through my experience, uh, and if you care to share a bit of yours through email or whatever ways, ways you have of feeding back, uh, what should we be talking about? We live in a society that is heavily dominated by outside influences, and it's so easy for us to fall prey to that. My invitation as we go forward is for us to look within ourselves to establish what's most important, and I think if we do that sincerely, we'll find that advertising tells us um, that stuff, you know, products, uh, uh, new toys, new cars, boats, all things that I like too are important. And they are helpful. But I dare say, as we look at our lives and all of the possibilities that we have within them, and how the other people in our lives make those lives worth living. It can do a lot to put these other, these secular items in their place. And we find that, yeah, they're nice, but they're not essential to our happiness. In fact, they're only peripheral to it. So we're going to probably stop right about there for today. We'll just, just kind of keep these short, uh, let you know. I've given, I've unloaded a bit on you already. Uh, Am I afraid of the future? I try not to be. I'm trying to stay ahead of it by A, not speculating too much, B, not expecting things to necessarily work out the way I hope they will, but by the same token, maintaining enough hope that they might and that I might have a great meal more time 
uh, to spend with you, to spend with the other people that I love as well. So we'll, stare, we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, I can already tell you that I've had a very abrupt uh, reset in what is important to me, what I appreciate, and what I recognize. Our life purpose is something that we probably don't think a great deal about, but I'm going to invite you to think about that uh, today, uh, or tonight, or in the next couple of days. We'll get back to it at another time, but in the meantime, thank you for joining us here. Thank you individually, because I'm only talking to one person right now, and that's you, and I appreciate you. Have a good day.